Hello then, intro part two. Today I've got the second part of the Big Hall of 2019 and this is from the fashion and beauty on the high street aspect of bits and pieces. So we've got a bit of, bit of everything in here today. So here we go with part two. Yes, yeah, so the first thing I bought was some more hand wash. Now, everyone always needs hand wash in their lives, and we go through a fair lot of it in our household. So the first one I got is an Imperial Leather Fantasy Icons Hand Wash, and this one is the No Drama Llama Hand Wash, and it's coconut scented. So it's hopefully a moisturising and antibacterial one. And yeah, it was only a pound, so I thought, can't really go wrong with that one. Plus, we love imperial leather in our household, so that was the first one, so the no drum llama hand soap. Second one we got, which as you guys know, the Unicorn War is ongoing. So I was bought the body wash version of this, but I decided to also get the hand wash version of this. And this is the Cousins Care X um, antibacterial hand wash in the fun edition called Unicorn Magic. Yes. Unicorn magic. So I can't actually remember what the smell of this is, but from what I remember, it was quite nice. So that was also a pound. So yeah, that was the first two things that I bought. Now the next thing on my list was a very cute set of hair bows. Now as you've seen in our bits of the day and other things, I really like putting hair accessories in. And these three were to go on my more neon or brightly coloured side of things. So I, the top one is a neon orange bow, which is really cute. These are all from Poundland. A pink bow and a neon yellow bow. They're only quite small, maybe the size of my fingertip. So well worth it Three in a pack for a pack. So next we'll move on to some of the more random things. So the first jump was this little hand piece of hand jewellery. Don't know how it's got so, so tied up. But it is a little hand spring where you put your ring there and that just goes onto the back of your hand. Just a simple piece of jewellery for when I'm feeling a little bit inclined to wear gold. And from Poundland. So the next lot in the Glitter Junkie range were these ones called the Aurora Nails. Now these are like a dusky pink with little silver designs painted on little gems and bits and pieces. The next ones are in the pointed section which are these like iridescent white colour shifty ones called Ice Queen and then from the glitter section were these clear ones with glitter in them called Pixie. So yeah I'm quite looking forward to sticking those on and seeing how they go. So the final item from Primark is this mid-length leopard print skirt. It's pleated as you can see it does have a black lining. It's just normal good old leather print with a lovely elasticated waist. This again has become one of my staples since buying it. It's really comfy, really light, really flowy and it's just a generally very comfy skirt. Now these nails look like a slight petrol type glow to them. They are the rainbow nails, again from Glitter Junkie. And these go from a pink to purple blue to almost a turquoise gradient with various different simple black ball neck vest. I used to have one of these when I was younger and it came in useful for so many things. So it's just simple 
ribbed fabric, very stretchy, with a little ball neck out the top. So lovely for summer, just to throw on, really comfy. And along that vein, for when I want to wear something that needs a little something underneath, just a little, very cropped t-shirt, just to throw on underneath, say, Dungarees, which I do own, but I will be repairing those. Or under a see-through top, just something a bit different. So it's quite low cut, top back and front and very cropped. Next thing are two skirts, as you probably have guessed, I like my brights. So the next one was this just simple skirt, just a cotton skirt with this button detail down the front and yes all the buttons do open and um, that's how you get in and out of it as well so I got that in pink and I got it in really bright yellow so yeah something a little bit different there and to wear it with something all black but maybe I want to flash a bit of neon through. I've got a couple of pairs of knee-high socks, just plain black socks, to wear over the tights, between the tights and whatever else I am wearing, just to break up the colour of it. And one final thing that I lost the footage for was this black top from Primark, just a simple sleeveless roll neck. Now the next couple of bits were from the kids section in H&M which I'm quite surprised they'd fit but yes apparently the kids section in H&M the first was again another set of hair accessories which are these pink little hair grips in the shape of skeleton hands. They're pink with little pink bows and the joints between the bones are highlighted in white. They're only small with little crocodile clips on the back which you can just see here. And like I said kids two matching ones I think they were about a pound as well when I got them. Now the next Two things are little chokers, which you have seen me wearing in pictures on Instagram quite often. One is just a simple stretchy tattoo choker with a small glittery bat on it. And the next one is a lot of glittery bats, but it's more in a very stiff material. I did have to wind it, as you can see, after I opened it off this packet, it was a bit, uh, what's the word, tough. But again, this is a really simple, nice one to wear just to highlight your spooky goodness even if you don't want to go full out spook. It is made of green velvet as you can see it's got quite a high, nine, high neckline at the front and a very low neckline at the back. The roses are covering a bra strap which I don't think you wanted to see and the bottom half is just a very pretty skater style skirt that's got a nice bit of twirling action as you turn round. The next dress is also from H&M. It is in a blue snakeskin print. As you can see in this top half, the roses are back because of the very wide open back. It goes literally from neck right down to just above the uh, underwear line. Um, but it's very high necked at the front. It's this lovely blue snakes print, very long sleeved as you'll see in this portion. And it is a tight form fitting dress. It goes to about mid thigh level on me, but it's very comfortable, very stretchy. There's a bit of a bag at the back, but if I figure some way out of uh, being able to wear it with a fancy backed bra, we should be all right. And here, what have become a faithful pair of leggings in red leopard print. As you can see, it's quite tight fitting but very very comfortable. The first thing is this really pretty midi skirt. It's almost a silky feel. It's got a lovely embroidered pattern of leaves all over it. Now I just could not resist it. I just thought it was so pretty. It's just simple, little invisible zip down the side. So you can get in and out of it. There's no stretch to it, it's just purely purely that material and it drapes absolutely beautifully. It's so soft. 
Now the next thing is a top. Like I said, excuse it being a bit crunkled. These have been uh, laying with the hold for a while. So as you can see, it's got a button down front. You can fully open. It's a nice, really light cottony feel. It's got some normal sleeves, it's a little cuff at the end. It's a little bit stretchy with the elastic in it that's turned into this little bow. That's down both sides. And it's just a very simple, slightly cropped shirt in this dark floral fabric. You'll notice the pattern with the fabric coming up soon because I'd have a few things from it. Now the next one is a slightly off the shoulder top. As you can see it's a nice blush pink colour, long sleeves, slightly cropped jumper, slightly off the shoulder with these rivets that go all the way across so it will be an off the shoulder almost bardo like top just simple but that will go really nice with that blue skirt and in identical fabric and fashion because i like my comfies i got my matching long sleeved jumper dress in the same material with the same rivets really Nice, comfy, soft material, very stretchy. Now the next one is another slightly cropped jumper in the same vein. Nice, thin material. A little bit on the sheer side, so it's one to wear over a vest or something. But what caught my eye is this lovely diamante detail around the collar, again it's long sleeved, ribbed knitted fabric, very light, very very stretchy, it's a slightly higher neck than the other ones but it's really soft and comfy. I like my comfort, that will go nicely with a pair of high waisted trousers, high waisted shorts or a high waisted skirt not high waisted depending on how you feel at the time or even over a little slip dress will also look really pretty now you're going to notice a few things in the same vein here this is another slightly cropped jumper in the same fabric as the black one but in a nice burgundy deep shade of red again very stretchy cropped but what I liked about this one is the detail of the pearls down the arms. It's on both sides. Simple, quite classy. Again, a little bit sheer, so you would have to see if anything pokes through on that one. But again, just a simple, pretty little jumper. Same as the black one, just in a, that blush pink colour again. Very, very stretchy, nice diamante details across the collar and simple rhythmic long sleeved cropped jumper. The final thing here is a t shirt. Now, this was from the men's section of new look I believe it was with a what drew, drew me to this was the similarity between this and Chinese pottery and that style of decoration it's blue and white it is a size small and it is such a comfy basic t-shirt and it's really really soft as well really excited by this so the next one is going to be boohoo so I've got a pile of things down here because these are all long clearance again and they are just so cute. Halloween themed things so a little bit on a cheesy side but I kind of like that for my um let's just say less alternative days but still want to be cute. So let's just dig straight in and go for 
these ones. Whatever this is. This is the Halloween Skeleton High Neck Sleeveless something in black to size 10. So some of these may be a little big, some of these may be a little small, but even if they're oversized, like I said, I like comfy, so I'm not exactly mad. So this is a, oh, it's a mini dress with the, that's like tunic, tunic type, type mini dress. So I really like the pattern on this. It's obviously you've got the spine that goes down the pelvis and then at the bottom you've got the femur so this is going to be quite a bodycon style dress but it's quite long and just plain on the back with a little one little button at the top so hopefully that should be quite nice and easy to do up for other people for me obviously so yeah that's the first item which oh, it's really soft not, well the back's quite stretchy, the front's not stretchy, but really soft jersey type t-shirt material. So nice. Here's the Halloween Skeleton Body Congress. So this is, a lot of this was the um, leftover Halloween stuff, I'll admit. But sometimes you just want to look cute, inexpensive but cute. So it's a very similar material as the one we've just seen. The and it's very similar but it's just the strappy version with a slightly more detailed spine and it goes there's left femur but long spine slightly more detailed in the way you look at the bones the straps aren't adjustable but it's got a low-ish back so it's perfectly cute for summer there's a little bit of shearing along the top bit so it's nice and Nice and stretchy. So that's another cute little dress. Let's go back to black. So we have got the cobweb mesh cutout midget. I've got a few of these cobweb cutout dresses with the mesh because I just thought they looked so pretty online. So this one is, I've got another very similar dress in the style but the mesh panel cut out is sheer so all up the down front apart from this little cut out here is completely sheer and then on the back it is also sheer all the way down to the side and there's a sheer mesh panel on the sleeve as well just on one side and it's asymmetric it's not on the other side like i said that's a nice midi dress so that would be really nice and long cover your knees up that kind of thing which i do quite like sometimes you don't want to wear tights but and you can't be bothered but you want something to cover your legs then that is perfect let's go for this one next it's got ghosts on it's cute it's a halloween ghost print t-shirt dress like I said, sometimes you just need comfy, cosy dresses. And I think these are the kind of dresses I like. And it's just a big, comfy, ghost print dress. Round neck, shortish sleeves, and prints all over the front and the back. A bit shapeless, but you can always jazz it up with a belt around the middle. So. I think that's going to come to around mid thighs. So that's a nice, comfy, casual, everyday dress. Next, we'll go for another mesh, the spider print, spider web mesh again. So, for this one, it is the mini dress. So, it's a short but similar to the other one. This I'll just use as a long, long line t shirt, probably. But as you can see, it's black down the front, the mesh panel goes a bit lower and then the mesh is all over the back. So that's really cute just as like a, an overdress and a long sleeve t-shirt almost. We'll see how mini that really is. 
So let's go for a bit of colour again. This is another Halloween print. It's the pumpkin print bodysuit. Yeah, and this has got pumpkins on and ghosts, and it is just so cute. Look at the cuteness. So you've got quite a nice little round neckline. Got long sleeves. It's really soft as well. Really, really soft. And it's a two stud closing at the bottom. This, honestly, this is so soft. Can't stop stroking it. The material is lovely. All these look like they could be slightly on the sheer side, but because they're quite dark colours, it won't be too bad. Now this little print has got little ghosts, jack-o'-lanterns and then also cut out jack-o'-lantern faces. It's just adorable, it's cutesy, it's Halloween. It is cute as. So the next thing is, isn't it black and white thing? Can you tell a pattern with my clothing? So this one is the Halloween Floral Skull Bardo Long Sleeved Bodysuit again. The, these ones I've got for like layering under other pieces, so, or is it a swimsuit? This is a swimsuit, this could be a swimsuit, which is different. I'll have to check that, but I think this could be an actual swimsuit. This, yeah. That is, that is going to be a cute ass swimsuit. I'll have to look on the online again. Editing me will write underneath whether it's a swimsuit or a bodysuit, but it's really, it'll work as a bodysuit because to be honest, I'm very tempted just to sew across the bottom of those bodysuits anyway because I find them pop undone otherwise. So yeah, this is just a black and white skull print with roses round, roses in the eyes. Again, it's long sleeved stretchy and it's just really really cute so I'm really happy with that one as well so let's go for another cobweb mesh item as you can see I went for a lot of the same things because I like to layer them so this is the bodysuit version of the mesh as you can see one arm is completely sheer it goes across the chest and round to the back and then you've just got the plain sleeve on the other side very cheeky bodysuit level and again a two clip fastener so again very cute for layering and we'll go for the smallest item which is a mesh star print crop top so again with these you'll notice I've gone for layering pieces either crop jumpers, body suits that I can wear under other stuff and this is another cute to wear underneath thing or over the top maybe we'll see but it is just mesh star print the little fastening at the front and then just long sleeves with that lettuce style lettuce hem that seems to be all the range at the moment on both sides very crop but very cute just to throw over something. Let's go for this one. Skeleton print again. So this is the when I get into the bag. Halloween skeleton bodycon dress. So it's similar to the other one apart from you get a bit more of the leg bones and the arms have the arm bows on as well so just a basic skull print skeleton print body contrast on the back it's the same just just generally just cute just cute basics that's what i went to boot her for cute basics what's this do that one next, next we'll go for another slightly brighter colored sugar skull one this one is the Halloween Sugar Skull Print Mini Midi Body Concert. It's another longer one. It's, all these ones I'm picking up now are just so soft as well. This is gorgeous, so bright and colourful with sugar skulls all over it. There's two, three different styles of sugar skull. 
and long sleeves, basic, round neck, midi dress or mini dress. Mm -hmm. I'd say that, that may be more close to a mini than a midi, but again, such soft jersey material, good quality basics. Next we shall go for this one, which is the last mood I've been looking for with her. The last Halloween mesh one, and this is the mesh cutout bodycon dress. So, similar to the one earlier, but in a different design. The mesh just goes across the top of the chest and the stomach, and the back is just plain. So, a nice, nice. So, yeah, as I was saying, I did get two of these by accident. I took the last. And final thing from Boohoo is another layering piece. Surprise, surprise. They have some really nice mesh layering pieces. This isn't what I expected, but it's still kind of cute. It is the Halloween foil print fishnet skeleton t shirt. So I just thought for a mesh t shirt dress to just shove over something else to make it look pretty like I've got a basic long sleeve black dress that will look so cute over the top of it and as you can see got the skeleton prints in foil at the bottom and completely see through really big mesh so that'll be nice for a gothic cover up on the beach as well best in a pair of shorts with that loads of fantastic ideas with this one so yes, that's all of the Boohoo stuff I've got for you. Which again, is another crop jumper, but I just couldn't resist this one. It's a lovely teal blue, lovely and stretchy. And the thing that got me on these were these little sleeves. So this is very, very crop, so I would have to wear something underneath it. But yes, I just like the sleeves, quite fancy, really cute. And then we go to Top Topshop where I wanted a pair of wide legged high waisted jeans since it was I had to get rid of some when I was younger. And I really like the fit of these ones. They're a bit unusual and they were inspired by Ashley Brooke, who I will link below because her fashion vlogs and well, the bits of fish. She lives in New York. She's a businesswoman as well. She has a monthly magazine which I absolutely love. And but yeah, she's just amazing. I will link her down below because she's fantastic. And she had these and I fell in love with them immediately. So I have to buy them. They are very high waisted, full length, wide leg jeans with poppers down the side with all of the 90s revivals. These popper jeans came back as well, and I don't know why, but I just really like them. And they've got a lovely blush pink ribbon down the side, with two pieces of white denim ribbons. Got look, no pockets at the front, but it does have two pockets at the back. And matching down the other side. I really like those. Some people may think it's a questionable fashion choice, but I really like them. Next we'll go to TK Maxx, where I got this very simple waffle knit, long sleeved jumper. It is a men's jumper, albeit a small, it fits like a dress and it is so comfy, but you can stretch it down as a dress or tuck it up as well and it's just so soft and warm and snuggly and I love it. Also from TK Maxx, a little everyday looks like now you know the unicorn was. Couldn't resist it. It's glittery, it's sparkly. It's got unicorns on it. 
and some of those double way glitters and by the brand spiral and it's just a simple drawstring rucksack and it's adorable I love this some people may find it questionable but I just freaking love it going along with the accessories route I got myself I had a pair of glittery high tops that I've had from Tesco that I have worn today but I had to get rid of them unfortunately so to replace them I got these and they're circle and the glitter does not flake off they're a really nice faux leather really comfy really supportive on my feet velcros all the kids but I don't actually care and yeah sparkly shoes just what I've always wanted Now, talking of accessories, the next couple are tights and one body tights. I'll show you that in a minute. The first one was given to me, and it's these awesome Batman tights. I mean, you can't really go wrong with a pair of tights. Batman. And even better. They're glittery bat signs. I mean, seriously, how cool are these? Little shimmery Batman tights. Loving those. The next ones are just simple spooky tights, glittery spider webs. Not much more you can say about those ones. Abby, Abby, them, they're quite pretty and I hope to see. Now the are next you ones listening? are from Matthew Holland. No. Uh. Yeah. I can't remember. Uh. I've had these for a while. And these are yeah. awesome. Barbed wire uh. print tights. Yeah. They're quite sheer. But with the barbed wire pin, I just thought they were too good to pass up. Then the last one is this body harness. I will show you it over another item because it's very hard to see what it's like. But it's just a simple elasticated body harness. I'll get it out of the bag and see what it looks like. stuff to do when I can be asked which is totally me and something I need now something else I'm going to try and get into a bit more is 
nail art, mainly the only reason I got this one was for this one in Riddle here which is to put dots on. The other ones I'd probably use for other stuff but definitely the little, uh, little one there just to put little dots of nail polish onto other ones. Thank you for watching, I hope you all have a lovely day. Let me know what was your favourite item out of the haul. If you want to know my makeup look, all the products are listed below and I'll also link the tutorial that I followed to do this today is by Risa Does Makeup. Like I said, I'll link it below so you can have a look for yourself. So like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!